What does the scroll with seven seals really look like? For some time I've wondered what the scroll with seven seals in Revelation chapters 5 and 6 really looks like. Some pictures have it looking like these. And even like this. Then after reading a verse in Revelation chapter 5, I realised that they can't be right. Revelation 5 2. Then I saw a strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice, Who is worthy to open the scroll and loose its seals? The order is, the scroll is opened, then its seals are loosed. This same order of use is repeated in verse 4. So I wept much, because no one was found worthy to open and read the scroll or look at it. But one of the elders said to me, Do not weep. Behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, has prevailed to open the scroll and loose its seven seals. God is a God of order, and the order is there for clarification, not confusion. So opening the scroll must come before loosening the seals. These scrolls can't work this way. They must have the seals loosened first. So that model is wrong. So what does the scroll look like? I asked God and I had a vision showing me. But the vision wasn't clear enough for me to draw. So I asked God to help me draw it. And this is my sketch. And here I've refined it on my computer. It is like a book with seven sections or chapters, and each section is sealed. So let's check that our thinking about the scroll is correct. What does the Bible say about what should be done with the scroll? The Bible is quite clear on this. So I wept much because no one was found worthy to open and read the scroll or look at it. The Bible says that the scroll is to be opened, read, and looked at. This does not match the common teaching that opening the seals causes events to occur. The Bible is clear that Jesus Yeshua has opened the seals and shown John what is in that section or chapter of the scroll. The evidence is that the scroll has been opened and read and looked at. We know the contents of the scroll because John wrote down what he saw in the book of Revelation. Revelation 1.19 Write these things which you have seen, and the things which are past and present, and the things that will take place after this future prophecy. Revelation 6 Now I saw when the Lamb opened one of the seals, and I heard one of the four living creatures saying with a voice like thunder, Come and see. And I looked, and behold, a white horse. And when he opened the second seal, I heard the second living creature say, Come and see. And when he opened the third seal, I heard the third living creature say, Come and see. So I looked, and behold, a black horse. When he opened the fourth seal, I heard the voice of the fourth living creature say, Come and see. So I looked, and behold, a pale horse. When he opened the fifth seal, I saw. I looked when he opened the sixth seal, and behold. When he opened the seventh seal, there is silence in heaven for about half an hour. And I saw the seven angels who stand before God. These verses are in complete agreement of what the Bible says, that the scroll is for to open, read and to look at. So I wept much because no one was found worthy to open and read the scroll or look at it. We can now be confident that the scroll has been opened, the seven seals have been loosed, 
read and looked at. John is the witness to this happening and wrote about it in the book of Revelation. And consider verses 3 to 4. And no one in heaven or on the earth or under the earth was able to open the scroll or to look at it. So I wept much because no one was found worthy to open and read the scroll or look at it. Why couldn't Jesus be found in heaven, on earth or under the earth? The logical explanation is that Jesus had not yet ascended into heaven after he was crucified. Verses 5 and 6 describe the arrival of Jesus in heaven. But one of the elders said to me, Do not weep. Behold, the Lion of the tribe of Judah, the Root of David, has prevailed to open the scroll and to loose its seven seals. And I looked, and behold, in the midst of the throne and of the four living creatures and in the midst of the elders stood a lamb as though it had been slain, having seven horns and seven eyes which are the seven spirits of God sent out into all the earth. So a number of things are now clear. We know what the scroll looked like. We know that the scroll has been opened and read and looked at by Jesus and John. We know that all the seals were opened because we know what is in the scroll, because it is written in the book of Revelation, except for what the seven thunders said. Revelation 10.4 Now when the seven thunders uttered their voices, I was about to write, when I heard a voice from heaven saying to me, Seal up the things which the seven thunders uttered, and do not write them. So, what was in the scroll? Daniel 9.24 To seal up vision and prophecy. Vision and prophecy is what was in the scroll. The scroll is not a device that causes events to occur when Jesus opens a seal. And you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free.